it's Lucy here, Outdoor Learning Officer, and today we are going to be talking about newts. Newts are the mini dinosaurs of the pond world, and there is three types in the UK. We have the biggest and the rarest called the Great Crested Newt, and we have also a Smooth Newt and a Palmate Newt. And I'm going to talk about the different types and how you can identify them and tell them apart, and also have a look in my little pond to see if I can find any newts. First, we are going to head over to Karen, who is going to read us a poem by Robert McFarlane um, from his Lost Words book, which is a beautiful book and has some beautiful illustrations. I'll show you that in a moment as well. And yeah, over to Karen. Newt from the Lost Words by Robert McFarlane and Jackie Morris. Newt, oh Newt, you are too cute, emoted the coot to the too cute Newt. With your frilly back and your shiny suit, and your spotted skin so unhirsute. Too cute, roared the newt to the unastute coot. With all this careless talk of cute, you bring me into disrepute. For newts aren't cute. We're king of the ponds, lions of the duckweed, dragons of the water. Albeit it's true, he paused, my newt. Now some more information on newts. So, did you know that newts spend their time on land and in water, so they like both habitats? Great crested newts are actually really, really particular in their um, living environment and will travel up to one kilometre to find the perfect pond to breed in. So if they are present in your pond, that is amazing and that is a really fantastic thing and something you should be really, really proud of. When it comes to spring it is when newts breed, so you get the males will tend to develop a crest to show off to the females and sometimes they will do a dance and they don't dance quite the same as humans but instead they will waft their tails around to entice the females. So the females lay eggs, um, they can lay up to 200 eggs which is a lot of eggs and each egg is individually wrapped in pond plants, which is really quite impressive and I imagine takes a lot of time. So that's how much the females care for their eggs. The eggs will then hatch to make tadpoles and um, the tadpoles will stay in the pond for around four months and then will grow into newtlets and leave the pond. Metamorphosis is the process of change from a young to an adult and there can be more than two stages of this. Um, newts will turn from an egg to a tadpole, then from a tadpole to a newt, and then to a newt. So how to identify the great crested newt? The best way and easiest way to identify the great crested newt is normally they are black all over and quite textured warty skin and when they are older you might see tiny little white spots on the warts. They have an orange belly underneath, they have a lifespan of 6 to 15 years and can grow up to as big as 17 centimetres, which is quite big. Great crested newts are a especially important. Um, not, on, not only are they the largest and the rarest, but they are also protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981. So really, really special. And if you do see any great crested newts, um, it is best not to disturb them. Smooth newts um, are the most common newts. Um, they're the ones that you will likely find in your garden. They sometimes look like they've got a bit of a stripiness to them, so they are brown, greeny colour. Um, they also have orange bellies. Um, so the males also get a crest in the breeding season. Um, their crest goes all the way along their back to their tail. Smooth newts have a um, slightly shorter uh, lifespan. They live up to six years compared. Lastly, but not the least, um, palmate newts. They are the smallest of the three newts. Um, they live a little longer, they can live up to 10 years. And they are very similar to um, smooth newts, except they have a more yellowy, peachy underbelly rather than orange. And you don't find black spots on their throat, but only on their belly. Um, Palmate newts you don't find as often. They have um, a bit more specific requirements for habitats. They like heathland and moorlands that have more acidic soil. So you'll find them in shallower water as well compared to deep ponds. Um, males don't grow a crest like great crested and smooth newts. Instead they have black webs that they grow on their hind feet. And they also get a um, thin filament on their tails as well. And now we're going to head over to my pond and see if we can find any newts. 
So my pond is a man-made pond. It is only a little diddy pond. It's not a big natural pond. Um, I made it last year. Um, so what I made it out of was a old water butt. So it was the bottom half or the bottom third of a water butt. Um, I then dug it into the ground and filled it up with pots, um, bricks, stones, pond plants and some rainwater and have just let it settle for last year. So we'll have a little look and see what we can find in there. If you don't have a pond and are interested in making one, Wildlife Watch have a lovely activity sheet, there you go, on how to make one. So I will post this up and you can have a little look. So they suggest using an old bucket or a watertight container to make a pond. Um, you can use an old washing up tub. Any plastic container that is watertight would work. And like I said, you can just dig a hole and put it in there or you can raise it so you can put stuff around it. So I didn't have any luck finding any newts, but I did find a few little pond creatures. So in my little bowl, I can see some little pond snails, some water flea, some water mite, some little midge larvae, and I did find a phantom midge larvae as well. Now, I wasn't lucky enough to find a newt, which I did think would be the case. Because I only have a little diddy pond and I have frogs and sometimes in a small pond you won't get frogs and newts mixing so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna head inside because I have found a lovely garden stone and I've got some acrylic paint pens and I'm gonna have a go at drawing a newt to then put by my pond so that I do have a little newt in my pond why don't you have a go at drawing a newt and tell me what type it is is it a great crested newt is it a palmate newt or is it a snoof newt Thank you very much for watching and um, if you have any questions please let me know if you would like to post a comment or share a picture i would love to see them and yeah stay safe and stay wild